Hello, everybody. My name is Skyler. I go by Shipmate on some of the Discord channels that I'm in. Um, today, basically, is what I'm going to do is I'm just going to demonstrate how to get Atom over from the Kepler wa wallet over onto Osmosis. I know that there's quite a few people that have been asking me. Some folks are newer to the Patreon. Uh, some folks just um, aren't 100% sure how to get started. And so I'm going to do this video in order to make sure that people kind of, we all have, we're on the same base. We all kind of have a basic understanding of what, what to do. And so the first thing you need to do is you need to run over to the <clears throat> Kepler web extension, which is basically just make sure in the Chrome web store, you just go to Kepler.app and then you can just add that um, and it'll download in probably 30 seconds to a minute. And once you get that, you'll have to write down your passphrase, 12 or 24 characters, and you store that in a very safe place. And that, and then you set up a password, and that will basically be your wallet. Um, for me, this is just basically a demo wallet, and I do currently have 2.2 Atom in this wallet, um, which I sent over from Coinbase Pro. And so once you get Atom over here, then you can navigate to the osmosis decks it's basically osmosis.zone and it'll, it'll basically navigate you right to the website once you're here is what you'll have to do is get your atom tokens from the kepler wallet over onto the osmosis decks and the way we do that is we navigate to assets and give us a refresh and then we will click deposit We'll deposit the max 2.2 atom tokens. It'll cost us, we'll do a high. Then we'll hit approve. You see transactions successful. And we will wait for it to show up though. I normally give it a couple seconds and then I will give it, and now it says it's here, it's showing up here in our Cosmos wallet. So is what we'll do now is we can go to the pools and we have to decide which pool. Now that we have the atom over here, you have to kind of decide what pool you want to put that atom in, okay? And the liquidity pool is where you will add funds to start earning passive revenue. And so you can see that I've already added $465 to the Atom Juno pool in this wallet. And there's obviously a lot of pools. One of the things that I do want to differentiate or at least make sure that we have an understanding is that these incentivized pools means that the APR is paid out in Osmo tokens or osmosis tokens. Remember this is the osmosis DEX. So these APRs are uh, specific to the Osmo rewards we will receive um, every epoch or every 24 hours, which is an epoch in osmosis. And then also to keep in mind too, that there are external incentive pools. And so you can put your funds or put some funds into a pool uh, with underlying assets that you like. And so you can see here that the Juno Osmo or the Adam Juno pool and all these other pools have external incentives. The pools that I like to aim for are the ones that offer the external incentives, but also offer Osmo rewards. And so basically, let's go to the Juno Atom pool. It's a little bit higher here. So right here, you can see pool number 498 is offering APR, an APR of 67.53%, which is pretty good, right? And so basically every day by putting our, our reward or our our Adam and our Juno into this pool, we will get paid out 67.53% interest on those underlying assets. Okay. And that will be paid out in osmosis or Osmo. Um, but then also because it is an external, externally incentivized pool, you will also receive some Juno tokens and the amount of Juno tokens that you receive will be uh, specific to the amount of liquidity you provide. Um, so there's really no set in stone or hard and fast rule of how much you will get. And it's really hard to calculate because the total underlying liquidity in these pools overall is in constant flux and constant flux, meaning that 
there are con there's constantly people adding liquidity and also taking liquidity out, meaning that the baseline is hard to really calculate. And so since we kind of have a baseline or a basic understanding um, that, and we've already deposited our atom, now is what we have to do is we'll add it to the Juno Osmo or the Juno Atom pool. Um, for me, I will add to the Juno Osmo pool. So is what I have to do first is go add max um, because now, because I want to trade or we could just do half. We'll trade half of our atom for Osmo, and then we'll go back and we'll trade the other half of our atom for Juno to, to meet the criteria to add to the pool. Okay, so we'll swap this. Wait for this to go through, it's broadcasting. Perfect. And so, now you can see that our atom is less. And so we can just go ahead and, and oops, navigate down here to Juno, create the atom Juno pair. And we will now basically trade all of our bag of atom into Juno now. And you can see that this is a zero fee um, DEX unless you wanted to pay the fees. So we will approve this. It's broadcasting. So now from doing these two simple trades, we'll basically have 50% of our dollar value of asset in Cosmo and then 50% of our um, dollar asset in Juno because we, we basically took our complete Atom token and we separated it half into Osmo and half into Juno, okay? And that's basically, that qualifies for the pool because you have to have 50-50 of each asset in order to add to the pools, okay? So now we'll go to pools. You can see that I already have added some, again, to the Adam Juno pool, but we will navigate all the way down. I just scroll all the way to the bottom, go to this external pool, add external incentivized pool, and you can see that we will get this bonus for adding liquidity. So now we'll add and we will hit max and, to, and then we can add liquidity here, okay? And again, it's a zero fee um, DAX, which makes it really appealing to me, particularly when I was over on Ethereum for, for quite a while. Um, so wait for this to settle, it's still circling up here, but you can see that the available LP tokens has increased to $78. So now we are providing liquidity, but now we're provided also um, in return for providing liquidity, we are given liquidity provider tokens or LP tokens. And now this is really where we start farming in DeFi. So now with those LP tokens, we can bond them. And this is where we start earning the 66.84% in Osmo rewards daily. And then in addition to that, we will get the Juno payout and external rewards. So I'm going to bond for the 14 days. Go max. And then we will bond this. We're bonding our LP tokens. And again, zero fees. Very appealing. Sometimes if the DEX is very busy, then it's, it's smart to just go ahead and pay the fractional amount of fee just to make sure that your transaction goes through a little bit quicker. And now you can see that <clears throat> give it a refresh. So we've provided the $78 in liquidity. Then you can scroll down here and you see we have also bonded our liquidity tokens for the 14 days. And you can see that the 50%, 50%, okay? And when providing liquidity, not to um, elaborate too much, but there we are subject to impermanent loss. And basically a quick way to think or to understand what impermanent loss means is when you put two assets into a pool when one of those assets both are staying pretty stable at the prices of which you added the assets but then all of a sudden say in this example juno decides to take off in price um well then in order to keep the pool at 50 50 then you you will have an increase in the amount of 
Osmo tokens that that we provided or that you provided. And that's that's basically what impermanent loss means. To me, it's not that huge of a risk um, because if I believe in the two underlying protocols or assets that I'm providing liquidity for, then I'm fine, especially given the amount of rewards in terms of APR 66.84% and the external rewards, which are paid out daily. So with that being said, we went through um, how to, or we went through basically the Kepler wallet, why we need the Kepler wallet. Um, you just go over to Chrome store, download it. And then from there you can send from a centralized exchange, some Atom over to your Kepler wallet. And then we also covered how to deposit it how to add to the pools and make sure that we bond those LP tokens that were provided in order to get um, the full amount of rewards. So I appreciate you guys tuning in. Um, again, my name is Skyler. Uh, I appreciate my patrons or my patrons rather over on the Patreon page that I started not too long ago, up to 52, which is pretty rewarding. Um, I look forward to becoming better at these videos and um, providing you guys with more information moving forward. That being said, um, I'm going to go ahead and stop this video and we'll see you guys shortly.